welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So today I figured I would do a nighttime skincare routine. Got my BJ's on. So if you want to see my nighttime skincare routine, then just keep watching this video. So first things first, gotta have a, something to put your hair up. Cute little bow. Don't know where I got this from. I will link it down below if I figure it out. But first thing I do is take off my makeup. But first things first, take off these eyelashes because there's no better feeling than taking off eyelashes when they have been on all day. So, boom, that's on. Now you look scary. My eyes are like 10 times smaller now. But first, I usually take for my eyes, I take Vaseline and I just take a tissue and rub it all over my eyes. So I just take it like so, take like a tissue, whatever toilet paper you have, put it in and I just kind of take all of the eyeshadow off. I have been doing this for years upon years upon years. It's the easiest and cheapest way I found and it does not burn your eye at all whatsoever. I've tried so many makeup eye removers and they just burn my eye. I feel like it's gonna fall off my eye. So I was like, you know what? I'm going back to the old school way, Vaseline. And it's really soft on your like lashes so it's not gonna rip them out or anything. So I find this helps a lot. This also helps take the glue off of your eyelids if you had uh, fake eyelashes on that day. Uh, I find it really easy. I mean the makeup remover wipes itself helps but this is like a good starter for that. Okay, so for my face, if I'm lazy, I will just go in with the Neutrogena but I find coconut oil first really helps kind of just melt the makeup away. Um, any sort of coconut oil, this is a Simply ba Balanced Organic Unrefined Virgin Coconut Oil. I'm just taking some in my finger, it's like really empty. Just this amount, and I'm warming it up in my hand right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my face and you can see it just kind of melts everything away and it makes it a lot easier once you go and uh, use those makeup wipes. You, it's really less makeup wipes you're using, so. And coconut oil is great for your skin. It gets all over, so be careful. Ah! If you got extra, just rub it in your hands a little bit. It makes your hands smooth. So next, I am taking, it's melting into my face. I'm taking the Neutrogena uh, makeup remover wipes. These are my absolute favorite. Uh, I've used other kinds, but I just find these work the best. I'm just gonna wipe that all off. And then, See it? Gross. That's one wipe. And you also don't have to like wipe as hard, I feel, once you use like the coconut oil. Because that, like I said, that just kind of like melts everything away. So, your face is coming back to life. I go over my eyes a little bit. Again, it doesn't burn, at least for me it doesn't. If you have sensitive eyes, I guess it does. But, just clean that all up. So this is one wipe right here. Ooh, gross. So I'm going in with a second wipe right now. So this is the second wipe, really not that much left, just kind of cleaning up whatever's there. I always have a lot of makeup like in my hair, Ever, you know, I mean, you gotta put it in like your hairline so it blends, but it's so annoying, ew. Okay, so next, my bow is looking a little sad right now. Okay, girl, stay back there. Okay, so next to like extra clean my face and cleanse it, I'm using, I'm pretty much out of it. It's the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel, and this is supposed to remove makeup and impurities, dirt and all that, and it says boost hydration for soft, supple skin. I'm all about anything with hydration in it to kind of lively up the face. I feel like when you put so much makeup on, your face tends to get dry, so you want to get that moisture and hydration back in it. So yes, I am using this, but I will link it down in the description box below. So basically what you do, just put some water in your face and use this. Okay, so now that we just washed our face, it's feeling a little kind of dry just because we already put coconut oil, even though it made it a little moisture, but the makeup wipes kind of dry it out for me at least. Um, so I'm going in with Vitamin C Brightening Facial Mist. This is what it looks like right here. And I love using this just because it kind of gives life back into my face. And you can actually also use this as a setting spray, but I don't. Um, it says you can also use it throughout the day. I do do that just when I feel like my face is getting dry. I just do a couple of squirts. And it smells 
so good too and it really feels like your life is going back into your face pretty much Next, I am going to be taking the Perlescence 24 Gold Peptide Infusion Illuminating Facial Oil. This is what it looks like right here. Hopefully that focuses. And pretty much this just helps like repair the skin, revitalize, brighten skin, and for like a youthful glow. I'm a big fan of this. I'm gonna focus, yes. So I pretty much just take, it's like a, um, a pump thingy. Oh, I forgot what they're called, but I just take like two pumps. Oh, there you go. I just clear like that, and I just rub it in my hands. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> um, I just pat it in my face. I don't really rub it, or I just pat it. Okay. Then for moisturizer, like I said, you can use this for moisturizer, but I am a fan of like a cream moisturizer, so that's what I've been using. Um, I use the Olay Complete Normal um, Cream. I love this. I have been using this probably since I was like 10 years old. I swear by it. I absolutely love it. If you have dry skin, even like normal to dry skin, this is definitely something you need to use. And this also has SPF in it, although like you're going to bed, so you don't really need SPF, but you can use it in the morning as well. So I just take a little like dime size and I just put it all over my face. I avoid my under eye area because we are going to be putting an eye cream there. So just put it really on your cheeks, around your mouth, your forehead, everywhere but your eyes. It like, make sure it's, it's like a barrier, kind of, for your under eye to make sure you don't get it there. And I always make sure I get my neck. I always go up because the wrinkles go down so you want to go up and beat them. Okay, so last step, I am taking my eye cream. This is the Hydrating Eye Gel Cream um, by Cetaphil. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I've been using it for months. I really do find there is a difference. Um, I mean, I do have dark circles, but they used to be a lot worse, and I feel like this definitely um, helped with that. And it also hydrates under your eyes as well. So, uh, like I said, I'm a huge fan of hydration. I'm just taking like a pearl size onto my finger, about that much, and just dotting that under my eye. I get really up in there. And like I said, don't you don't want to put your moisturizer under your eye because then it's going to all kind of melt together. So I like doing this right now and avoiding that moisturizer like I said before. Drag like whatever's left on top of my lids. But yeah, this stuff is really, really good. And it's a drugstore product. A lot of these are drugstore products. I've Actually, I think all of them are, yeah. And I find they work amazing. I mean, I've used high-end, obviously they work great, but if you're balling on a budget like I am, these work just as well. And I will link everything down in the description box below. Okay, so last step, I just go in my Vaseline again and I put it all over my lips because my lips are always super chapped, but Sometimes I do go in with a lip mask. I don't have it with me, but it's like a lip scrub. And I usually do that like once every two weeks or so just to like give my lips a little bit of hydration, especially in the winter months when they're super dry. But I just put Vaseline on so when I go to bed, my lips aren't chapped. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. It's not too much of a process. It's pretty quick and simple. And like I said, it's all drugstore products, so it is very affordable. I will list everything down in the description box below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Good night.